Hey guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We are going to do an in-depth love reading. We got the devil coming out, Capricorn energy. We are going to um, look at two future outcome positions, the intent, the hopes, the fears, any external factors you need to be aware of. I will also give you timing on anything if it comes across. There you are. All right. So for some, you could be single and we'll see if new love is coming. All right. So love, please, for Aries. Happy birthday to you guys. Thought they could be dating there. All right. So Aries for love. What's going on? What does Aries need to know? So remember that the energies can be reversed. So flip it, I need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Hmm. Somebody is making an unexpected move by the time all this is said and done. Right now, we're in that Four of Cups energy. Uh, okay. Um, oh, wow. The fear here is um, jealousy. And it kind of feels like somebody's fear of like moving on or going to the next phase. Like there's somehow jealousy tied into that. And sometimes that can just have to do with like personality, character trait. We're going to clarify and find out. I mean, the fear is the five of swords is a legitimate concern, but um, there's definitely something to be like said here for jealousy, feeling ignored. All right, we got a lot to cover. So definitely could have options. We have Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces again. Um, so, wow, you, for the overall energy, you have the moon crossed by the fool. This is an unexpected move that someone is making. We do have the full moon right now um, coming up right around the corner, depending on when you're watching this. But, uh, all right, let's see what's going on, Aries, please. It's an unexpected move. And, and the, for the intent. You have the, the lovers, which is Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, but your external factors is a seven of cups. You have a couple of sevens there. And there's another seven. Seven, seven, seven is a, it's a lucky omen, but also um, it is about taking time for self and self-reflection and what's in your highest good. All right, so let's, um, you can check out my short on 777 for more. Okay, so somebody may have walked away after like something got revealed or a conversation, like something was found out. There is some regret around that and somebody's still holding on to hope. What's that? Okay, let's, um, so that might be why that Five of Swords is there for fears. Show me that moon. We're going to kind of see how it's all going to partially wrap back around. And then um, the full place. Then we're going to start in the past and work our way around. So show me the full place for Aries. You had the nine of wands come up there and the nine of cups. Nines can be a pretty intense time. But it doesn't really feel like there's any... There, there's a couple of things. A, there's this energy of things being intense, but not more kind of skepticism that's there with the Nine of Cups and the um, Nine of Wands. And then there's also, this is just like the energy around that's created with this Nine of Wands, the Hangman and the Seven of Cups. Um, sometimes it can just be an energy of like, I call it like brain fog where like things it's a confusing time it's an intense time so let's look at the past show me the three of cups please 
So in the past we got the three of cups and then now we got the um the four of cups. So it does look like in the past, you know, somebody was reaching out. This could be an apology, an invitation for a date. It's a pretty sweet energy. But okay, the six of cups, the three of cups, the page of cups. There could have been some gifts that were exchanged. Um, there also could have been dating or possibly like a friends with benefits situation. A lot of sweet energy in the past. Kind of like a romantical energy, but sometimes this can get stuck in like friend zone. Not in all situations, but so for the current energy, can still go about a week out. You got the four of cups which is cancer energy, but it's like, you see in the past we had this page of cups and now it's like somebody's ignoring that cup, which is equivalent to emotions, not taking any action, not showing feelings, you know, kind of holding back type energy. The three of swords. So there's distance there. There's pain on someone's side. Some things could have been said in the past to hurt somebody's feelings, but, um, when it comes to love right now, it does feel like there's a separation. You know, somebody not reaching out, there could be there could be some drama. Why is the pain there? The two of pentacles, indecisive energy, back and forth, in and out, limbo, the waiting game, Pisces energy. This is kind of we have the hangman there for the overall outcome, and we have the hangman there now. So I'm just going to throw that out there. But this is kind of like a pulled back, back and forth. Am I in or am I out? And for the external factors, like I said, you have the seven of cups, which can be somebody who has options, choices, or, you know, there's just this general uncertainty energy. Because at this point, it's not coming up as third party. Show me this lovers, please, for intent for Aries. So again, your intent could be a Gemini, could be a earth, an earth sign, but you also have the two of swords. So it, right now, somebody is thinking about this, contemplating back and forth, but it doesn't get any resolvement. So for the intent, you got the two of swords. It's almost like to avoid things, to not budge towards it, to not open up, to not communicate. So show me this chariot, please, for the near future. The chariot is cancer energy. And that is about, you know, uh, moving forward. So that seems like it would be progression. Show me that chariot, please, for Aries. You got the king of cups, more water energy. This could be someone who, like, it, it could be a friendship that's turned into more. There's definitely feelings that are here. But someone could also be kind of like uh, getting where you fit in on their schedule or something that doesn't like get past the back and forth, in and out, the wishy-washy. Tell me more about the near future, please. You got the five of cups. So to put it quite frankly, somebody's been willing. But it's because no action was taken over here. So you get this energy that, especially with this King of Cups, this is not somebody who just wears their emotions on their sleeve. And also, it's not the most ambitious energy. So for the current energy, you got the Four of Cups, the not taking action, but thinking about this. I don't know what to do. What should I do? And then for the near future, you got the Five of Cups, it's like kind of it's it's a it's a disappointed energy it's a regretful one but there's no movement here and the intent is not to really move on anything either so for some like um this energy this king of cups could kind of be keeping their self there unless you're walking away to start something new all right show me this five of swords four of fears because someone can, um, you know, avoid this all they want, but it, it's, it's going to come right back around. You got the Five of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. So you're matching this person's energy, but this is the fear. 
feeling like, oh damn, what did I do? The grass wasn't greener, I'm not happy. Why did I choose this direction? Especially if you are moving towards something new, that's where the jealousy really comes in. The fear of that. Show me the Seven of Cups, please, for external factors for Aries. Uh-oh. You got the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Swords. There definitely could be something brand new that's coming towards you. Um, although, we got the Four of Cups right here. So this can be missed opportunity at love. And especially if there's like if you're single, there's nobody else involved, you may kind of just got to put yourself out there a little bit. Open up, wanting to talk. But um, also for some, it's about taking the time to self-love and self-heal. Because you got the four of swords there for external factors. That's about healing, being okay, accepting what you can't change meditation and the five of swords is there for fear so sometimes you know things can backfire and by that i mean like in our mind because you do have an incredibly the feelings are here pain is here but you have a very stubborn energy you have over here with the king of cups um you know an energy that doesn't always just go after the emotional aspects show me the six of wands please for hopes Pretty solid hope. The six of wands is success, it's happiness. You got the eight of swords. Somebody okay. I see this this nine of pentacles here. So a couple of things. There for hopes, somebody does want to be successful, to be happy. But for hopes, you got the eight of swords, which is worry. And the intent is the two of swords. So it, 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 somebody could also be kind of worried about their finances or self public image because right now um, it's very possible depending on the sign especially like cancer energy there could be a lot of self doubt and insecurities on a financial level right now so show me the hangman for the overall outcome for Aries please So again, the hangman is Pisces energy, but we have that over here for the current energy. You got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is there for hopes. It's fear. It's anxiety. It's that somebody's just not taking action. And again, there's a couple of reasons it could be, but I mean, this is just a situation that kind of just sits where it's sitting now. And for some, okay, so you could check your moon sign. But with the Eight of Swords, this is worry, doubt, self-imprisonment of the mind. So I think healing and kind of meditating is really important. Because for some, somebody's pulling back and not taking action because of self-doubt and insecurities. Because it's like embarrassed around their financial situation or something like that. Um, and for some, you know, it could just be really hoping around uh, financial and work success and you know career and things like that and taking time and progressing in that direction third party never came out the thing is though this is somebody who has genuine feelings and is legit hurt now and in the near future and then this is still carrying with them through i mean this reading can go up to a year out so you know for a while and never here do you see like the release like the letting go it's just like it lingers there is no death card here there's no temperance there's no ending this just it was here in the past and things are beautiful and then this just lingers so i mean the possibility for something new is kind of like right around the corner um with this energy though it may still be about a year out not for all But by the time this is all said and done, see right now, you got the hangman in the four of cups. So it's kind of just waiting, but not taking action towards that, that cup. And then 
at the far out future, you got the Eight of Cups. It's walking away from that cup, but it looks like it's happening because of worry and fear and anxiety. Like, besides what I mentioned, this is this can be somebody who, you know, kind of just isn't going after what they want, but it's, there's general unhappiness along the way. Alright, Aries, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.